and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube for some mono black control. You may remember at the end of last format before rotation, mono black control is like my favorite deck to play. Um, but we lost a lot of cards from the deck. You know, we don't have treasure maps anymore. We don't have Karn Scion of Urza. Um, <clears throat> and then, of course, and then besides those, the really the big loss is with the mana base not having Cabal Stronghold because because uh, Cabal Stronghold we got to get with Golos and be able to add a whole lot of mana. Um, so those those are just huge losses. And then even Helm of the Host, you know, we had the Helm of the Host in the sideboard that was our main win condition uh, that we would grab and then start copying Golos's and and Dread Presences. Um, but again, you know, we'd have a whole lot more mana because the Cabal Stronghold. So I haven't really put together mono black control uh, since rotation because it lost uh, some real key pieces. And of course, the treasure map and Karn Sion of Urza let it play a really good late game. Um, but we had somebody over on, on YouTube that was, that was asking if we try putting it back together and everything and what it looked like. And yeah, I thought it may be kind of fun to play again. And so here we are. So we kind of re-put it together and we'll see how it does. Um, Instead of treasure map, we have discovery. It's like that's that's the card that's going to be like my two mana card. It's way over here at the six mana, but you know, really, this is a two mana card because <clears throat> we're not casting dispersal hardly ever. Um, but yeah, we have the discovery to surveil to then draw a card to help dig. But yeah, we just got you know a good amount of removal. A couple of legions ends, noxious grasp, all the murderous riders, uh, cry to cry, two ritual of soot for some sweepers. So. We're just trying to, you know, kill creatures and uh, have Dread Presence take over the late game. This is going to be our card advantage engine here. This is like the the real payoff for just playing mono black and not playing other colors. Because uh, whenever a swamp enters, we'll be able to draw ca draw cards if we need to. Or we can also gain life and do damage if need be as well. Um, other control decks are usually kind of a problem. That's why we got four duress in the main deck. Because... Uh, we have so much dead removal against other control decks. And plus, Duress is just kind of good against everything. Like, um, even aggro decks are, are playing spells and uh, mid-range decks playing Planeswalkers and everything like that. So we got the, our four Duress in the main. Um, the one cro Chromatic Lantern allows us to activate Golos if, if we can set that up. It's not something that we're going to like necessarily rely on. But, but Chromatic Lantern also just helps us ramp that little bit and get us that extra mana. Um, really helps us get to like our six mana cards over here, or it helps out Karn um, having a little extra mana, be able to play some of the expensive artifacts that we have over in the sideboard. Because then, yeah, of course, we have Karn that can go grab some artifacts. Mostly we're going to be grabbing Spyglasses, which are pretty good in this metagame. I also got a third Golos over there in the sideboard. So, you know, we can curve Karn into Golos and then a God Pharaoh statue and a couple Meteor Golems as well. Um, Golos is, is just a good value card here. You know, it's just a three, five that ramps you, uh, and a three, five is a good sized body. And of course, you know, ramping and getting any land out, we can go grab like utility lands. I only have castle and one blast zone for utility lands, uh, blast zone being pretty nice right now with all the witches ovens around, you know, like witches ovens, gilded gooses, um, blast zone on one actually pretty decent right now. Um, but also just getting swamps. Since we have Dread Presence, just ramping and getting an extra Swamp could get you that extra trigger where you can have, like, uh, two of the second trigger to do damage in one turn. Um, or, of course, if you have multiple Dread Presences, you get multiple. Um, so, yeah, Golos is just a good value card. And then, of course, Ugin and Liliana um, take over the games for us. Sideboard, I, I have these Midnight Reapers in here for control matchups. Um, I think, I think I basically it was like either this or Ashiok. I'm going for the Midnight Reaper because they're probably going to take out like some of their removal and everything against us. And maybe we can get like these Midnight Reapers underneath them and, uh, you know, just, just do some attacking, but then also get some card advantage whenever they die. Uh, it's, it's okay. So we got two Midnight Reaper and one Thought Distortion against Control Decks. But yeah, Ashiok <clears throat> is another option there, but it's not really like, you know, like we're not playing against Field of the Dead now where we really need Ashiok to stop the shuffling. And just playing a couple Ashioks is not, we're not really going to mill people out. So I couldn't really think of anything better <clears throat> as far as anti control cards that didn't cost, you know, six mana 
to play. So that's that's why we got the Midnight Reapers there. All right, but we'll get to the, get to this. So we're gonna play a league. We're gonna play till we win five or lose two, whatever happens first. Uh, no, I think I think Midnight Reaper is better than Rankle against Control, um, where we don't want the Control opponents to draw cards. Uh, we may not necessarily really want the discard thing. I like, and it also costs four. And co costing four is kind of rough because that's where we have Karn and Dread Presence at four. So I really want something that's that wasn't on that slot there. Well, this is difficult. Like this is difficult to, to put back. I mean, Noxious Grass could be amazing or could be a dead card. Duress could be amazing or could be a dead card. This is tough. I guess I just put a duress back. But duress could just be amazing also. Uh, that's tough. Hmm. <laughs> First thing was an easy keep. This is where we need treasure map. So just giving my opponent some more time to draw. I wish I would have put the Noxious Crap. You know, I wish I would have put this back and kept Duress. Give them some more time to draw some spells. I really don't want Duress to whiff. Wow, not even light up the stage or anything. I have the same hand. We finally drew a spell, but obviously I shouldn't complain too much with how my opponent's hand looks. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely excited about historic. You know, once once we have the events on the twenty on the twenty first for historic and everything, we're gonna be playing it. No, I don't play any magic online. Now, I didn't notice that every time I play Mono Black, it's ridiculous mana floods, and I didn't, I didn't realize. I don't know. I got nothing. Oh. 
Hey, that's a spell. I guess I kind of forgot about Dread Presence, or you know, I wasn't really thinking about it as much. I, I didn't need to continue playing as many lands as I did. Probably should have kept a couple of lands in hand. A couple more in hand, at least. That's lethal. With the castle. <laughs> so this is sixty. I don't love for duress. There's not really cards here that I want to play instead, so. Wouldn't mind playing another Golos. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna take out a Karn for a Golos. Karn doesn't have like the best options to grab for this matchup. Yeah, there's 26 lands in the deck. Okay. Much better than last time, but also am assuming that my opponent's hand is going to be much better than what they just had. We didn't have the black fox. That's what we needed. I just, yeah, I just make the decks. Uh, I don't know. I've, I've been playing Magic for a very long time. The question was, where do you get, come up with your deck ideas? I mean, I just, they're just, you know, cards I want to play, or cards that I like, and I build decks around them. So Ugin's very good. Don't really have lands right now. I want to keep Duress to fight against Frenzy. I could certainly regret getting rid of that Ugin. Depending on what happens. Well, I guess I regret. Keeping that duress more. So. I, I need to, I want to just figure the war boss. I could have legions ended before we're taking a damage here, but I, I wanted to hold up disfigure for war boss. A little annoying. Just a little. Hey, Carlos. Um, yeah, it's been it's been about ten days with Deckmaster not working. I emailed the people over at Cardboard Live 
to see if I can get that set up. Uh, have not heard back. That was also not that long ago. All right, so we take four with that murderous rider. I'll hold the swamp in case of dread presence for now. We draw another swamp. Wow, what a good play. <laughs> yeah, Murder Strider is, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's really good value. Yeah, I get to destroy the creature, and then you get to play a 2-3 lifelinker also. That's a good one. Okay, we're going to game three. We had a much, much better hand there. Okay. Nice, Santos. No, I haven't played it yet. Um, okay. So Mard Mardu stacks. I was thinking about playing the Orzov Sacrifice deck. Like, try to, you know, have, like, a bunch of one drops that can, like, basically always hit. Or two drops that always hit your ovens and familiars. So going with the Duress here. So I have more information on, like, what... I want to disfigure in Legion's End. Um, so obviously I want to Legion's End the Rimrock Knight and disfigure the Fervent Champion. All right, let's hopefully draw lands. We drew millions of lands the first game. All we gotta do is just draw a couple here. Oh, that hurts. All right, come on, draw land. No. Uh, that hurts. They drew the land to get to Bone Crusher. Oh no. And they drew another one for Torbran. This is bad. Hmm. That's lethal. That's six ten. Plus you can add that in. Defeated. Thank you, Shuffler. Alright, we're on one. Yeah, I like that. I, I like that. Um, with the Mardu sacrifice, that's a good. Or, sorry, the Mardu um, enchantments. That's a good plan there. That's a deck that's fun to play. Turn one to rest. That's what I'm trying to do.
So I'm looking for a thumbnail. So they know about the ritual of set. Couldn't we have gotten just a couple of these lands last game? Correct. Bleeding Edge does not work with, with Death Touch. It just gives a creature minus two, minus two. Should have played Castle. I did that too fast. Want to play our Castles right away and keep Swamps because of Dread Presence. Yeah, man. Mono black control. Mono black card matchup. My plans do not include We're playing mono black standard here. I thought about ticking up and then Ritual of Sitting. And if I would have done that, you know, we would have got this duress that I could have taken that Bleeding Edge. Is that the name of the card? Yeah, Bleeding Edge. Another time, Planeswalker. Planeswalker. All right, we got our Golos Chromatic Lantern combo on line. Playing the Swamp out, not holding for Dread Presence because that allows me to activate Castle. That worked. They were a lousy servant anyway. Are you fighting for my friends? Say that worked pretty well. My purpose. 
purpose is greater than myself. Okay. Don't need to attack. Okay. I didn't, you know, so like we get, I definitely miss having Helm of the Host because, you know, we get statue, but we don't have Helm of the Host to like make a bunch of statues. Like just having like one statue is not as cool. Don't need these noxious grasps. I guess we'll play another end and a soot. Um, I think that may be all I do. Don't know if I really need the four duress, but not sure if I need too much in the board here. Oh yeah, definitely miss treasure map. And Cabal Stronghold. And Helm of the Host. Especially, um... Eh, especially all of them. But Helm of the Host is cool. Yeah, Reben. Um, yeah, we'll have to... You know, I'll, I'll, kinda, I'll be... You know, reacting to that tomorrow of like what gets, um, what actually does get banned, you know, if anything, because um, it's hard to say. You know, if if just, you know, if just green cards get banned, like there's just a, a wide net of different cards that could possibly be banned. Well, they're basically forever away from playing this Bola Citadel, but this is like the only like. These other cards don't matter. I'm just going to take the card that matters while we can. But even though, of course, they have to draw four more lands to actually play it. It's not like I'm killing my opponent in the next four turns or, you know, even eight turns. They'll have plenty of time to draw those lands. This deck, we should call this deck 2 or 12. We either draw 2 lands or 12 lands. Nothing in between. 2 or 12. Nothing in between. All right, we did it. We drew a swamp. We're back in the game. All right, so we got our 2-3 Lifelinker to block their 2-3 Lifelinker. Or, I mean, well, theirs isn't a Lifelinker, but whatever. Our 2-3 Lifelinker to block their 2-3. Hey, Chief Good evening. Huh. Do I have a card that can mill over the top card of their library? Hmm. 
But they don't have us do this at the same time. We have to, like, wait for our opponent to do it, and then we do it. Pretty great scheming symmetry there. I don't really want anything but a land drop. Another event of Ravens. I don't I don't think that card's important. If my opponent would have blocked... Then I, I would have been able to shoot their Vindictive Vampire. If I were you... This looks like a fun new toy. If I attack, I take two damage. Don't really feel like doing that. We're taking enough damage with other things anyway. This is but a taste of my power. So if I attack Soren, I take 4 damage, which is how much I just gained. <laughs> Rise and shine. Oh yeah, that's true. I like if I if I go if I blast on the ravens, then that kills my dread presences. Good help is easy. I don't really want to kill my dread presences. More. Yep, we found the lands. Hit our land pocket. Try and just fine with with having double dread presence
So yes, I could I could be attacking like this whole time. Probably could be. Oh my. I seem to have laid waste to your army. Oops. Alright, now there's only one Revenge of Ravens. And one land. Alright, so we'll gain four with Dread Presence. Take seven. But then gain another two with this Murderous Rider lifelink. Okay. A little mono black mirror. Yeah. Yeah, there you go, Nate. Yeah, Nate's a props to them still playing, builds a character. Yeah, Dread Presence is just pretty sweet. Got to do a lot of cool stuff with that there. All right, and we're one on one. Got on the board. Yep. Yep, that's what Golas is for. I mean, Golas just, it's a good blocker at ramps. We can activate it if we have Chromatic Lantern in play. Oh, I just did. I just updated O2. Whoops. All right, there we go. Better updating skills. Um, I played a lot of Dread Presence pre-rotation, but I, I don't think I did it too much with scape shift. Uh, I just want land, but I have to keep Cry of the Carnarium because of this kitty cat. But I just want land. Cause I, so I didn't duress here, even though duress could have taken an oven, because I want to be able to just go land, lantern duress, basically. Yeah, Grixis Fire's list looks looks pretty decent. Boo. 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 At least we get rid of that thing.
Uh oh. Just use my Cryo Carnarium, and then then there's a Midnight Reaper hanging out. Keep the Dread Presence maybe a little greedy here instead of looking for a land to drop Liliana. Maybe they'll play their other Masked Girl here. That'd be good. Darn. The Masked Girls, of course, are legendary. <clears throat> so it would not be recommended to play both of them. This is rough. Just have all cards that don't do anything in hand. Not looking good. Um, so the reason the reason to play the swamp is we could draw discovery into a six mana planeswalker. Time to sideboard out the cards that we were drawing. Definitely a matchup where we want Spyglass. What's up, Krovax? Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. So yeah, the, kind of the problem here is I have more cards that I want to take out than what I want to put in. I don't really want Noxious Grasp or Ritual of Set.
All right, let's give this a try. Yeah, we have we have four murderous riders to kill the massacre girl. And, and uh, Ugin's Liliana. That's not great. Wanted to take a potential potential trail of crumbs or oven. Triple Murderous Rider. So shut down Vraska, so they draw Vraska, they can't kill Spyglass. And then if we draw future Spyglasses, we can stop. Um, you know, shut down like Trail of Crumbs, Cauldron Familiar. You know, there's, there's a lot of things to name here. I guess they have Night of Autumn though, don't they? I didn't really think about Night of Autumn. Yeah, yeah, you can. Yeah, Trail of Crumbs is a. Oh, it's Trail of Crumbs just an activated ability, or so it's a triggered ability, so it doesn't do anything. No, I just brought in one spyglass, but I have Carns that grab more spyglasses. Hmm. 
Let us march into battle and make new comrades. Get out of my way! So this is this is kind of tough for us. Um, yeah, I could play Ugin and kill the Ethereal Absolution, but then they can just attack Ugin. I want to like force them to like with my Planeswalkers. I want to force them to at least use the Swift Ends to kill the Planeswalkers. I don't want them to attack. That's why like the Ethereal Absolution there was pretty rough because they they did just get to attack and um they got to just attack the uh the karn there to kill the karn So they can't attack Ugin now. I do wish I would have grabbed Meteor Golem instead of Statue after that Ethereal Absolution was played. No, you cannot kill Oven with Ugin, but I can kill Oven with Blast Zone. It's good for me that they're stuck on just the two black sources, that they have all of these cards that are not black, so all these lands that are not black sources. That's just been really hurting my opponent here. Having castles, I want to get cards out of my hand. So I know holding lands for Dread Presence can be good also, but we're getting lands out of the hand. Now, Trail of Crumbs is the reason why they're playing green. But that, and then Gilded Goose. Um, Brassic Guard Queen, also very good. But Trail of Crumbs was the card that beat us last game. That's that's their main reason to play green. Hmm. Interesting. Waste not, want not. Yeah, there's yeah, you can basically play anything you want for the Cascade event. Uh there's I don't I don't think there's like a like a certain correct decision. Basically, whatever you got for standard, feel free to play it in the Cascade event. What's up, Mantu? Thanks for that Twitch Prime sub. Because, yeah, today people have said, you know, probably, probably in chat, probably seen like a couple of def different decks that people have said that they're playing. My Mantu says, uh, YouTube got me here for the second month. 
Hope more to come. Keep up the great work. Oh, that's very nice. Thank you so much. My favorite guild is Selesnia. And Excerpts! Also for the second month with that sub as well. Thank you, Excerpts. Need to get my hype outs there. Yeah, Once Upon a Time seems ridiculous in Cascade, like where you just always hit Gilda Goose. Or it's zero mana. I, I'm a little surprised like with the ban list it didn't have Once Upon a Time, to be honest. A little surprised. Yeah, it has the lag again. It seems like, you know, like with my computer, sometimes like whenever I go try to put emotes into the chat, then it starts lagging with that. That's like a, a newer thing. I feel like we've had more lag ever since I ever since I've started using the Streamlabs OBS instead of like the regular OBS that I was using before. Feels like this lag has gotten a lot worse in the last few weeks since using Streamlabs OBS. <laughs> Rise and shine. Yeah, and Deckmaster has been busted for the last, like, 10 days now. I sent an email about car Cardboard Live, so we'll see with that. Did that today. Am I excited for the potential nerfs to Simic decks tomorrow? Um, I don't know. It's I'm not, like, necessarily super excited. But what mostly what I'm excited is just a, a fresh format that um, hopefully a lot more people will be interested in. Uh, last like month, or at least definitely two weeks, maybe about a month. We've had you know just a little bit less. Well, I mean, I guess we got a lot of people in here today. Got a thousand people in here today, but just have had less people interested in standard. It seems like, um, and so. That's what I'm mostly excited about for a shakeup. That was a great draw. That was a really good quality draw. But I'm also really excited about, um, really excited about Historic. Them adding in the 20 new cards for Historic and actually supporting it with ranked and uh, leagues and and all the kind of stuff. They're how, however they're going to support Historic. Um, so I'm excited to play another format here on Arena. Also, yeah, on the 21st they're gonna uh, we're gonna get a lot more Historic support. Um, so you know it's. Just a few days away. That's that's also the day that whatever bannings, like you know, like whatever bannings there's going to be tomorrow, you know, uh, those won't go into effect immediately on Arena. Those so those won't go into effect until the twenty first, whenever they um, update, uh, like whenever they make the update. Also on the twenty first for that update, they said that they've they've. Uh, fixed a, a lot of like memory leak issues and everything so i'm really really hoping that um the client is just better and there's not nearly as much lag and stuff like that i am definitely hoping that
yes, there are like weekly bannings for Pioneer that's been that's been happening recently, Hatred, but it's like a monthly thing for all the other formats. There's like a BNR announcement basically every month, and the one the next one for standard and everything is tomorrow. For all the formats, standard, modern, you know, it's basically all the formats. Um so the question is is I don't even, I'm gonna have to learn how to pronounce this name. Hidex Sugos? Sugus? I've I've never uh that yeah, so like that card is like before my time. Hidex Sugus. If anybody knows how to pronounce that, feel free to try to help me out. Hidex Sugus, second right. So three in a red instant, if target player has exactly ten life, deals ten damage to that player. So of course it's it's just a you win the game card if they're at ten life. Um and so you have to try to get your opponent to exactly ten life. You want a lot of things that, that do like exactly one point of damage. So you can manipulate life totals that way, and it would even hurt if you had things that had your opponent gain a life. Either. He debt sugu. Okay. He debt sugu. I don't like this Midnight Reaper. So they, you know, they, like they have a swift end in hand, but I can't duress it away. Well, now I wish I would just blast zone and destroy this Gilded Goose. They can't cast that. Now I regret. I regret what I'm doing here. I. I decided my my ter my play was going to be the Dread Presence, and I tapped that, and I was just too lazy to untap it. Probably should have just Dread Presence, I guess, first, and they get to draw another card, and then I duress. So that was that was just bad all the way around.
Yeah, I could have killed the Goose with the Dread Presence, but then they still just get, get to keep Midnight Reaper in play and get to draw another card. I mean, obviously, it looks like that's what I should have done, and maybe they drew that Casualties and I could have duressed it away. That this, this obviously just did not... did not work for me. Hmm... Sack the Knight of Autumn. Do it. Darn. Wherever I go. It's pain. Hmm. It's our game. you of your corruption. All right, Vraska Bulgari Queen down. Get to activate Karn again. But they did draw the other Black Sword, so even if I kill Gilded Goose, which I'd have the ability to. Stand down. So I'm kind of saving the Ugin until after they use the Swift End, as you can probably tell. Ugin would have made a lot of these things a lot cheaper. Yeah, I mean, I guess you could spy glass goose to keep it from making food. It'd still be able to add mana, but it wouldn't be able to make food anymore. Oh, Duress, I wish you did something.
Oh, they targeted the other one. Let it resolve. Yeah, <laughs> Evil cannot withstand. Karn's hungry. Karn has to eat that food. Karn's hungry. Yes, if you get back an exiled walker, it would return to its starting loyalty. Because like my opponent can't act like they may have just wanted to like pay two to just sacrifice the the food, but they can't because you know can't activate with Karn the Great Creator's passive ability in play. Uh, Arena, stop being like this. Do not pity me. Okay. By attack, they just get to chump block with the cauldron familiar, draw cards. Don't really want that. I'm going to be destroying that thing with Ugin. If we can. But of course, they killed the Karn, so now they get to crack their food. Please, no more murderous riders. <laughs> yeah, we could probably splash Roko in this deck. Wouldn't be too hard. They're playing so many basic forests. It's crazy. Their deck's like mostly black. It's definitely been helping us how poor their mana looks. It's been helping us the other games. All right, so I have two options here. I can either name Goose to make to keep them from getting more food, or I can name Cauldron Familiar to keep them from bringing the Cauldron Familiar back. Um, I think we name Cauldron Familiar. You cannot name food. There's not a card named food. That's not a card name. Come on, get, get a spell. Get something we can duress. Yeah. This your past is unwritten. Gave myself a little bit more time on this Murderous Rider. I, I could have just killed their Midnight Reaper originally. Uh, 
Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing just a sp specific day of the week for historic decks, but we're, we're certainly going to be playing more historic decks for sure. I don't know if it'll just be like one day or if we'll just have you know, historic be kind of a normal thing. Secrets manifest before you. That's kind of unfortunate. These aren't these weren't two very good cards right here. Hey, what's up, bro? Thanks for the sub. And enjoy all the awesome emotes now. Thank you so much there, bro. So getting cards out of my hand would be good for Castle, but I, I can't really unload my hand that much. So I'll just keep it for Dread Presence. And of course, I'm getting, I'm getting that out... So he kind of gets laggy there whenever I try to, you know, I update the sub goal there. I feel like the Streamlabs OBS is slowing my computer down more than the other OBS did. Correct. Debo 4. Naming Cauldron Familiar keeps them from bringing it back. So yeah, I have, I have Cauldron Familiar named. You can also name Witch's Oven too, you know, you, you, so you can stop Witch's Oven or Cauldron Familiar, either one. All right, maybe Arena will get past this, and the computer will start working again. All right, looks like the computer is working again. I'm definitely, we were talking the other day about, like, the SSD thing. I'm definitely, um, interested in, like, the external SSD that can maybe help my computer processing. I don't know too much about it, like, how to set that up or anything, but I'm certainly interested in that. Not external. There's not an external one. I thought. I thought you could get both internal and external. All right, got the win. Two and one. Okay, so y'all are saying that they, while they both exist, I really need internal, not external. All right, we got a War of the Spark pack. Let's crack it open. There's Mythics in War of the Spark I don't have yet. Ah, it's a rare. I don't, that's a set that I don't have all of the mythics in. I think there's like some of the finales I don't have four of. So 
That would have been a good one to get a mythic. Is it so is it easy to install an SSD? Like if it's if it's internal? Yeah, y'all are all saying the SSD life's a good life. Is it easy to install? Like can I do it? It's very easy, takes like five minutes. Ooh. Okay. It's like Legos. Oh, you have to reinstall Windows? That's not good. Yeah, I can I can open the computer case. I replaced a fan a few months ago. Okay, you don't have to. Zerf! What's up? Happy Sunday! Thanks for that tier 3 sub. Thank you, Zerf. So I like waiting until turn 2 for the duress. I like, you know, giving them one more draw step there. Um, since I wasn't likely going to be doing anything on turn 2 anyway. So maybe they drew that Embercleave off the top. This is pretty tough. We're we're in a we're in a rough spot here. Not gonna lie. Hopefully they don't have a land and just drop rotting Regisaur, because then I'm in a whole lot of trouble. I don't have anything like really that great to get with this Karn or to really do with this Karn. It's maybe just go get another Golos. And then I can, you know, have one Golos die. Obviously, they just have Rotting Regisaur. That hurt. They were taking a while to think about it, so I, I, was, I didn't think they had it. The the problem is like the re recording plus streaming. It's it's the recording that's slowing down my computer a whole lot. And so I guess that's that's the point is to maybe have the SSD be able to help out with the uh, um, the troubles of or like just the hardship that recording goes with a CPU or like on a computer. If that's the case, that's that's what I. That'd be like the hope. Yeah, I believe recording uses HDD. That sounds, that sounds right. Hey, McHugh, does appreciate your great play and fun decks. Thank you so much, there, JC McHugh. J McQ, thank you very much. Um, I don't know the difference between actual processing and writing on the disc. I don't, I don't know the the differences there. So obviously I'm just taking lethal here. All they have to do is activate Knight of the Ebon Legion.
Um, it says right now that like my CPU is at like, you know, it, well now it's going down to like 70%, but a little bit ago when I was switching games, it went up to 90%, but then, so it's kind of fluctuating between 70 to 90%. You know, most of it just being Arena and Streamlabs, OBS. Um, the GPU is like 50% between, between 40 and 50 and the memory is like 45. Um, I had a, just a, a custom built CPU. But it was, you know, th three and a half years ago this was built, though. Now. Um, hey, Agonaba. All right, it looks pretty decent if we draw lands. Certainly a chance this duress misses, though. I probably should have boarded out some duresses. Do I want to save duress? I mean, it's obviously just for Ember Cleave. I think we just save it, give my opponent some more chances to draw Ember Cleave. And of course, using the Legion's End first, we get more information about what their hand looks like. We know the Duress would have whiffed. And obviously, after keeping the two lander, we draw six. Six drop, six drop. Right away. No, CPU was up. Like my CPU right now says fifty nine percent, but it's it's kind of usually in like the seventy eighty range is what it's saying here. And then memory is like forty five. Okay, CPU is bottlenecking. I need a new one. All right, so we just need a new computer. When the computer was built, it was, you know, it's, this is just built as just a streaming machine. Like, I, I don't really do anything else besides stream with my computer. But also, um, but like I said, it was like three years ago. It was for streaming Magic Online. You know, like Arena wasn't a thing yet. And also wasn't for recording as well with YouTube. That's really where I've started having troubles ever since I started recording with YouTube. Or for YouTube and everything, too. I don't, I don't know what CPU I have. I don't know. A friend of mine uh, built it. You know, we just went to the computer store. He just bought parts and built it. That's all I know. I don't know much about computers. So they do have the Castle Lock Twain to be able to refill. I don't think it's worth attacking for one. Now 
No, I like my planeswalkers. I do hope you make this battle exciting for me. <laughs> Good help is easy to find in war. All right, cool. I'll check out that. Um... Thank you, thank you for, thank you, Diva. For I'll check, I'll check that out for the OBS. Cause yeah, Streamlabs, Streamlabs OBS hasn't been as good. So basically the only way I could lose is, is that they had another Rimrock Knight as well, like, to pump this thing up. That's why I couldn't just block with the two power, because if they... The two toughness, because if they did have another uh, Rimrock Knight there... Oh, it should have... It should have let me disfigure that before that other damage. But I guess it, it didn't stop. I guess I would have had to hold full control, but... I should have had the opportunity to <laughs> rise and shine. Interact there. Death is enlightening. Oh, I hit the auto pass. Well, that would make sense then. Um, no, I don't think that, um, I don't necessarily think that this is, like, a really strong deck. If you're look looking for, like, a real strong deck to craft, this would be, um, you know, like, this is something we're having fun playing and stuff, but we have, we have some inconsistency issues as well as a little lack in power and everything too. So, if you're looking for like something strong to craft, this isn't really quite there yet. Yeah, this version is definitely weaker from what we had last format. Last format, when we had Treasure Map and um, Cyan Aversa and Cabal Stronghold, it was better for us. Even like Brass's Contempt was kind of a little better for us than than Murderous Rider. Like just gaining that life immediately. All right, well, let's hopefully draw a couple of lands. You know, I like having the Legion's End for the first thing, the Murderous Rider for like a, a big dinosaur. And then the Dread Presences can close it out as long as we draw lands. Good. Is there a delay now for for the stream for my voice and stuff? Yep, it's off sync. 
Mm. The only real way to, to fix that is to just to close the stream and reopen it, which I can I can do after the league. But we usually lose like 200 viewers that, that just go away. If I close it down. Hmm, that hurts, that drill bit. They cannot cast drill bit and rotting regisaur, though. Yeah, I like that artifact, that artifact affinity deck. Um, it's it's just really hard to say anything is worth crafting right now with the BNR announcement tomorrow, that you know could change things. Um, it's so yeah, it's hard to it's really hard to say. It's hard for me to say that anything's worth crafting right now because things could change a lot tomorrow. Yeah, that drill bit definitely hurt. I kind of wish I would have just played the Midnight Reaper instead of the Legion's End. And just had the Midnight Reaper block. have they have another ember cleave I die I did All right, so we went two and two. Uh, whoops, where do we go? Over here. Serious question, how can I improve? The more I play, the worse I feel like I'm doing. So hard stuck that I get depressed. Uh, well, don't, yeah, first, you're probably, you're focusing on the wrong things then. Um, don't focus on as much on, on, you know, like your wins and losses focus through, through the games of like, why, why are you winning or why are you losing and try to do something about that? Basically, you know, like there's, there's a lot of variants still in magic. Like there, it's not always going to go your way. Sometimes like, you know, you can't really do much about drawing, you know, two lands or 10 lands or things like that. But see, like, if there's cards, like, whatever deck you're playing, like, are there are there cards that your opponents are playing that are really hard for you to deal with and maybe you need extra stuff in your sideboard or you need to kind of retool your main deck um, kind of thing? Or, um, or maybe are you, you know, like, do you need, you know, like, how are you sideboarding in different matchups? Are you, are you really um, sideboarding the best you can against what your opponents are trying to do to you in your sideboard games and, and stuff like that. Just kind of focus on the, the things, the like what's going on in the games and the things that you can do um, and everything like that. And not, you know, don't, don't be as concerned about whether um, you win or lose, like just try to learn and, and um, be better for the next, the next game kind of thing. So that's that's how you should be focusing, um, instead of just getting real sad if you lose a lot. Okay. Uh, anyway, mono black control. It was it was okay. Um, we have you know we definitely have some holes here. Um, the the legions end noxious grasp for our two mana removal wasn't so great. Like there's times the legions end was okay. Noxious Grass was just pretty bad all the time. Like, we weren't really playing against, like, Okos or things that Noxious Grass were really good against. Um, certainly, like, wish we had a better um, cheap removal that could uh, kill a, a more wide variety of things. 
like swift end from the murderous rider is good but that losing two life all the time like that hurts and you know we only have the four swift ends um i don't know if we need like omnix's cruelties things like that that also cost three mana i wish we had more at the two mana slots uh we also saw with our draws like not having a card like treasure map or anything like that we were pretty susceptible sus um we couldn't really change too much of if we were going to just draw a whole lot of lands or not draw any lands kind of thing. I did like the discoveries. I think the discoveries, like basically every time we had discovery, it was a pretty good card. Um, so I did like that. But that's like all we had there uh, as far as that goes. Because, um, yeah, some with those losses, sometimes we just got stuck on lands and drew all these top end cards because we have a lot of top end cards and other times we would just draw lots of lands because we're playing 26 lands and not draw spells that's magic though that happens um we don't have great ways to mitigate um flooding out or or anything like that or not having lands i do like epic downfall I do like Epic Downfall. I I wish Epic Downfall was like a card that you would want to cast on turn two sometimes, which it's not. You know, you have to have your opponent play a, a three drop or greater, and then then you play it. So I, um, Elder Spell was not good. Karn's a little rough without having. Cabal Stronghold to be able to have a whole lot of mana because these things are just so expensive. But but there we go. Let's first try at Mono Black Control there. Um, two mana, kill a creature with CMC three or less. I think I'd probably rather just play Legion's End, even though Legion's End doesn't hit three drops, because you get to exile, see their hand, all that kind of stuff. Like, Legion's End's really valuable in those respects. I kind of wish I had a third cry or a fourth soot, or, you know, maybe, maybe we need a little bit more sweepers, but it's hard to fit in more sweepers, because we need a lot of anti-control cards in our sideboard. It's, it's just po it's possible that this should just be a best of one deck. The dresses weren't that great from what we were playing. We weren't really playing against decks with spells. It, yeah, the dresses were pretty disappointing, and I I didn't have enough sideboard cards to bring in. So also, this could be, should just be a best of one decks, so then you can just have a lot better sideboard for Karn, and, and then you don't have to worry about... Um, yeah, don't have to worry about... Because, you know, like, we, we basically have half of a sideboard that we get to use with this deck, so we need the other half for Karn. And so the combination of those two is is kind of rough. Oh, it's power three or less. Okay. Yeah, Reef Soul. And it's also a sorcery, which that was an instant. Yeah, the dresses were pretty bad against the adventure creatures. That was that hurt for sure. That hurt. Alright. Um, anyway, that's mono black control. Um, alright, so if you're watching the video later on YouTube, uh, please hit that like button over there and subscribe as well. And of course, leave some comments. I always like seeing those. Um, but that's it here for Mono Black Control. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.